Hey guys, Steve Welcher, BMW Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to bring you something from the owner's manual of the new 2022 Tundra. Um, so getting into some of the previous stuff, usually Toyotas, uh, they don't really talk about a break-in period for any type of a Toyota, but the new 2022 Tundra with the V6 Turbo uh, does have a break-in recommendation, a break-in period for breaking in the new Toyota to make sure you get the most out of your Toyota, so um, out of your Tundra. So I'm going to show you this. We're going to kind of go over this, and I'll give you a few of my opinions on here, but uh, let's take a look at this, and you'll see what we're talking about, all right? So, all right, so I'm going to kind of turn my little uh, gadget around here so we can kind of see. Um, all right, so if you kind of take a look here, you're going to see down here, and I've done a few of these like this, so um, you're going to see right here, it says braking in your new Toyota. So to extend the life of the vehicle, observe the following precautions. It's recommended for the first 200 miles that you avoid sudden stops. Obviously, that's for, for your brakes, of course, uh, for everything getting lined up there, I would guess. you know, For the first 500 miles or 800 kilometers, whether 200 or 300 kilometers, 500 or 800 kilometers, it recommends that you do not tow a trailer. All right, for the first 1,000 miles, these are the other bullet points down here, do not drive at extremely high speeds. Define that, because I know some people that, <laughs> that idle at extremely high speeds. Um, avoid sudden acceleration. Do not drive continuously in low gears. And do not drive at a constant speed for extended periods, which that would make me think like cruise control for you know driving cross country. All right, so this thing says operating in a foreign country. Obviously, we want to make sure you use good gas. Um, idling time before you stop your engine. Now, this is very important from what I can understand. So to prevent damage to your turbocharger, allow the engine to idle immediately after high-speed driving or hill climbing. To allow the engine to idle when the vehicle stops, disable the start-stop-cancel switch. With the start-stop system enabled, the engine will be stopped by the start-stop system when the vehicle is stopped. All right, so there's a little chart right here, and we'll kind of bring this a little bit closer. You can see it. So driving condition, normal city driving, you don't have to idle. High-speed driving, you know, so a constant speed of approximately uh, 50 miles per hour, you don't have to. But when you get to, and it's 50 or 80 kilometers, when you get to steep hill driving or continuous driving at 62 miles per hour. So it, this is high speed driving. I don't think high speed is 50, but that's what they're saying here. So steep hill driving or continuously driving over 62 or 100 kilometers per hour or more or racetrack driving, it wants you to allow the idle to spin, or the turbo to spin down for approximately one minute. All right, so basically what that's saying is the, the start stop mode, you wanna make sure that you don't engage the start stop mode um, and you want to let that turbo wind down. So um, what's my opinion on that? Well, we're gonna kinda look around here. Anyway, <laughs> so hey, back here guys. Okay. Anyway, so what's my opinion on that? Well, that's just kind of, uh, okay. I mean, you know, it is what it is. That's what you're supposed to do to keep your uh, Tundra operating at its peak performance. If you don't do that, does it mean you're gonna have problems? Not necessarily, of course. I mean, uh, a lot of times things are recommended out of an overabundance of caution, not necessarily because it needs to be done, I think, but uh, that's, like I said, another of, of my opinions. Um, but I always recommend doing what Toyota says in the owner's manual. This is page 174 of your owner's manual. So if you've got yours out there, take that little wrapper off of it, which some people don't ever do for the entire time they own a vehicle. Take that little wrapper off of it, flip to page 174. You can see the exact page that I just read to you. Um, but uh, you, it's recommending that you break in your your new Tundra. So, and then the, the part that I was really paying attention to was the turbo part and about allowing it to, to wind down for that minute there. Um, so if you come off of an exit ramp or something like that, you want to make sure that your start stop system is shut off. If you have one of the Tundras that has that system, you want to make sure the start stop system is shut off so that it'll allow the car to continue idling while you're at that stoplight to make sure that you wind down your, uh, 
your turbo. So um, I think it's interesting information. I found it out here. I wanted to pass it on to you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you already have a Tundra, have you done this? Um, did you even know? Probably not because I don't think anybody's really paid attention to it, but um, you should definitely do this before you drive your Tundra. Know um, what they're recommending to make sure it lasts as long as possible and that you get the most performance out of your vehicle. Steve Welch, Beaver Toyota in Nashville. Hopefully you guys can like and subscribe. Um, but like I said, bringing you more information as I see it. And you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.